Hi moms, my today's activities focus on brain teasers. They are random activities that will help in observation skills and concentration skills in toddlers, preschoolers and kindergartners. So let's get started. For my first activity, you would need a plate or a tray, some random toys and oats. You can also use salt. What you have to do is place the oats on the plate and put these little toys. Press and stamp them and let them dry for 10 minutes. Once you check that these are dry, remove them like this slowly. When you remove them, you see these little markings. These little markings are going to amaze these kids and it will lead to curiosity. This is going to make it tricky for them to check which toy is supposed to be placed where and how simple is this activity for them. So please do try this one. So now my next activity comes which we all are familiar with that's blocks we all have blocks at home i have made these little blocks with a shoe box a recycling all i did is i stuck a white sheet and made the outline of the blocks we all have different sort of blocks so you can use any blocks that can come together but in a pattern not individually what you do is i have created these patterns if you see to show you i'll tell you how you're supposed to do it all you need to do is once you create the outline like this you have an idea all you need to do is call your little one place them here randomly like this and tell them to complete this pattern when you do it like this they will use their mind to how place them so that makes it a little thoughtful for them and they will try to understand by placing where comes what. Similarly for a triangle like this. They are supposed to place it anywhere and make a shape. This is a sort of activity that I would request you to do with your little one because it's sort of a brain teaser activity. Now my third activity is a maze activity but my style maze activity where I have tried a little different manner if you see I have made these little crosses these crosses are signs for the kid to know that they are not supposed to enter this side that's the wrong way the storyline I've created for this maze is there is a kid who is in their house and they need to reach to the toy room. These cross marks show that this way is a non-usable way for them. They need to not go through that route. For that, I have made these crosses which you need to tell your little ones. And I have made these little color popsicle cutouts. If you see, they're quite amazing because I loved doing this activity with myself before I did it with China. What the trick about this activity is if you see there's a fluorescent color over here you need to find or tell your little one which one has a fluorescent color for instance to show you this one has a fluorescent color so I have to place it on the fluorescent color here the next color comes here is blue so the kid has to search where is blue now this looks like a blue. So they have to join it here. Do you see that? This is the way. Then you see a pink color here. So the kid has to look for a pink. Now in case if the kid is playing and you're not supposed to talk in the middle when they're playing. So you have to notice which way they take. Even after you telling them that they've taken the wrong way, they are out. So they have to restart. The reason why, because we have to teach them this activity. But one more thing. If you're going to play this for the first time with your little one and you want them to enjoy, 
do not make a jumbling sort of activity like my this little game has doubling means twice same colors where the kid can get confused so first you just make popsicles that have a single row of colors that have to be matched and then once they get familiar that how they're supposed to play this game you use this reference idea as a second option for them and i'm telling you when you will do that you're going to boost their confidence and they would love to start playing maze in any form this simple activity is very good for their brain and my last not the activity but a surprise bonus sheet for all the moms whom i promised then i'll always share one extra sheet for them this is my yesterday's bonus sheet which i shared for kids smaller kids today it's for the bigger kids 5 plus where it is the same duplicate design or pattern i can say i have made here the kids have to search for it today one is one level up so if yesterday like some of the moms sent me an inbox if i'm not able to do the previous one please make them first try that you create your own patterns make them practice that once they have an idea that what are you trying to put across they will be able to do these sheets you can keep this sheet as a reference once they get familiarized with what you have done with them then use these sheets and they will love this game so i hope moms that you like my today's simple activities which were not sheets for kids i wanted something funny and nice and enjoyable for toddlers preschoolers and kindergartners so that's the reason i made those activities please do subscribe to my channel leave your feedback or comment on my channel if there's anything specific you want me to create and share with you for your kids leave a comment below till then take care bye bye